I'm here at the People Centered Internet Conference at Stanford, and I'm talking to Ted Chen. And he had a fascinating talk about San Diego and how they healthcare, how the healthcare professionals got together and worked together. I'm sure everybody was very excited when you came with this idea to have a hub where you share people, uh, patient uh, records, uh, right, among all the all the participants. Well, they, I think they were excited and a bit wary. Yeah. Uh, isn't there a lot of professional pride and isn't there a lot of, 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 of business problems? How did you overcome all these uh, initial problems in, in making that hub? Well, there's a lot of com competition between the uh, provider organizations, and that's what we really had to overcome uh, were some of those challenges. Uh, what we tried to do is really... Um, uh, present uh, the benefits of the exchange, not just clinically in terms of taking care of patients, but from a business perspective, how it could also benefit organizations. So incentives, incentives of the player. And the first players you needed to work with were the hospitals. Are they the center of it all? Well, I wouldn't call them the center, but we did start with the hospitals because they had the most robust electronic data systems that would be able to be uh, shared uh, for the, uh, the benefit of the patient. Yeah. Okay, so and then uh, what were the benefits uh, of working? What kind of arguments convinced the hospitals to work together? Well, I think the arguments that uh, convinced them were uh, there are definitely certain patients that uh, utilize uh, hospitals a lot, uh, and this was a way to address their needs a little bit better. There were also patients where time to care was important, and getting information more timely, such as heart attack patients, would improve care and outcomes for those patients. Uh, and, uh, and ultimately, even within their own business model, knowing where their patients were getting care when they were outside of their system would be a benefit from, uh, for the uh, organization from a business standpoint. Yeah, you, I think you called the number that 24% of the patients were using multiple hospitals and, and that, that that was so big that they needed to, uh, to, to work together? Yes, just about one out of every four patients that was admitted to the hospital that were readmitted within 30 days were readmitted at a different hospital. Uh, and that's pretty remarkable that within 30 days of being inside one 30 out of days yeah. one out of four yeah one out of four so patients yeah. don't obey the uh, the medical uh, records uh, databases of the day of the, of the hospitals patients go where they want to go uh, they're not going to go necessarily where they're, where they've had care before uh, they're going to go where they think they need the care uh, or where they think they're going to get the best care yeah. when did you start with the system so this system this project really started uh, in 2010 it took us a couple years to really get it up and going yeah and now so that in, uh, it's now been working for three years, what, what, how does the system work? How many records, uh, how many, uh, it's, it's not a central record system, right? It is a me more a messaging system. What kind of messages are being passed? How many for what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, diseases? Right. So it's, it's you, like you said, there's no data in the middle. It's yeah. just a, a sort of a, a record locator system. And right now we have uh, over three million lives in the system. Uh, and there are actually millions of transactions occurring every month in terms of reporting illnesses, uh, reporting uh, utilization, and that sort of thing. Yeah. So it's now really a very useful system which everybody uses? So it is a very useful system. It's going to get more useful as more players come online. I, I work in the emergency department. I take care of patients in the emergency department. Two weeks ago, I was able to get the lab test uh, from a different hospital system into my own electronic record, uh, really with it just a couple clicks, and that was very useful in terms of taking care of the patient I was seeing in the emergency department. Who are the users of the uh, system? Is it uh, more the GPs, or uh, is it slowly? that th Those are the first ones who are interested, I guess. Yeah, I think so. The emergency physicians and GPs, and that's slowly uh, increasing in terms of the provider uptake. And then the public health folks uh, use a lot of this data. Okay, so the next step is analytics to, to get all uh, to get on top of it. Uh, do you also share some information back? Uh, can I, as a patient, get my own uh, records, and do I get some statistics uh, as a as a as a society? You, you as a patient could get your records. We haven't done a lot of analytics back to the patient yet, but I think that's coming as as more and more uh, people get comfortable with their data being available and y used for analytics to their own benefit. I think that will increase. Yeah, how is it financed? This system. So the system was initially financed by a federal government uh, grant. Uh, that expired after three years, and now the system is actually funded by uh, the participating organizations, so the hospitals, the clinics, uh, some of the uh, payers for the healthcare system, uh, and other users of the system uh, are paying in to maintain it. Yeah, how much is it per patient per year? Uh, I actually don't n have that number. <laughs> is it like a ten million dollar budget, or five million, or no, fifty billion, right. or uh, yeah, per life? It's 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 less than a dollar. 
Okay. Yep. So the budget is very small yep. if it compared to the total amount of money which goes on to healthcare. Right. And you are uh, you are a doctor. You work in the emergency care. And you also, what is your involvement with the system? <laughs> so I think emergency departments were really the first ones to re realize the need for being able to share information. I would see patients who were either had care in other systems or care in other places, and it would have been useful for me in terms of caring for them yeah. to be able to not repeat tests, to know exactly what's going on uh, with the patient. So I think emergency physicians uh, in particular recognize the need for being able to share and obtain information on patients. Yeah. So let me think, uh, there's millions of people in the system. How, many, how big is the San Diego area? The San Diego area is about three million, uh, three and a half million people, and we have about th over just over three million lives in. It includes Imperial County, so we 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 have a very good uptake. Yeah. And how many healthcare people? How many people work in the healthcare industry? Who have uh, access to the system? Uh, so <laughs> I don't have the exact number on that. A hundred thousand? Uh, probably in the tens of thousands, maybe a hundred thousand. Yeah. And you're one of the people who helped to establish the system. How many people do you think were core? really working in work groups and nailing it down that it really would come there. Is that 10 people, 100 people, or 1,000 people? Uh, the real core, there was a very solid core of about 20 people, leadership in the various organizations to make it happen. And then there, uh, there's, those people are obviously supported by maybe 100 people to make this happen. Yeah. So you don't need everybody to agree. You need a small group of professionals who are committed and enthusiastic, 20, 30, small numbers. I mean, in Estonia, it was about 100, but 10 people really made it. And they can make a change. How does it feel that you made a change, that you spent all this energy and that now it's, work that it's working? Well, I, I've been very proud of the work we did. And I know it's going to only increase and grow in terms of the impact of, of the system that we've created in San Diego. Mm. Good luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it.